Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to the sea. This is one of my Amiga 3000 6230 25 MHz uh, Hydra Ethernet card and Zulu SCSI. It works totally fine. Then why the heck do you have it out? A long time ago, Mr. Josh sent me his Quantum ProDrive LPS with the bolt taken out. And I hooked it up with, uh, it had a GV, it was on a GVP card apparently. I hooked it up and it sounded like a bunch of monkeys with wrenches. So I kind of put it back to the side burner and he wrote me and says, hey, were you able to ever able to recover data from that drive? And I told him, no, it sounded like... So I put this in the freezer for the past two days. What? Don't worry. It was in a bag and I had paper towels. And there was no moisture and it's super cold. So I'm going to hook it up and see if it sounds better. It helps with the platters and the heads. It shrinks them a little bit. It makes all the metal parts tighter, and it was so loose or above, and I think this cover's been off, that I don't want any dust, I don't want anything to get in there, and it sounded like utter, utter garbage. Does it boot? And if so, I'm going to show you how to use the Zulu SCSI RP2040 in this matter to image this hard drive without a computer. My actual disks. I just need install, so I can get HD Toolbox. I want to... Hopefully this disc is still good. I haven't used it in 30 years. It's not even 3.1, it's 3.0, but I need HD Toolbox. Does this drive show up? Okay, partition drive. There's one 116 meg DH0 partition on here. Quantum LP120S. Save. Not changed. Quit quit. I know that sounds like normal SCSI activity, but trust me, it is not. This thing sounded just like that, but extra scratchy. What we're here for is this. This is a Zulu SCSI RP2040. This is my 32 gig card for this Amiga. So this old SanDisk industrial 8 gigabyte card will work just fine. On the Zulu, you're going to see Initiator, Debug log, termination. Termination is on. If I flick this initiator to on, then when I power this device and the hard drive, it will instantly start writing to the SD card. But Chris, how are you going to connect the hard drive to this thing when all you have is the cable in your Amiga? I'm going to take the cable out of the Amiga, but I'm going to use the Amiga for its power. And it's a super short cable, so we'll line her up pin one to one, arrow to arrow, and then we put the drive directly in it, like so, red to power. So now with the drive plugged in and hooked up, I'm going to turn this on. This is going to power the hard drive. I need to also power the Zulu, and I'm going to borrow the Floppies LP4 Ber or Berg. Oh, knocked off my 3D printed S bracket. So we have a power in the thing. And we have a power in the hard drive. Now I'm letting this kind of just sit. The hard drive is going to power up at the same time as the Zulu. When the initiator hits, it's going to dump the contents of the partitions as an HDF file to the computer. Or to the card. Watch. Let me turn this off. It's going to blink. Hard drive's gonna spin up. Don't worry about this. I'm just borrowing this for power. Hear it? I'm hoping it doesn't crash. But it is literally dumping sector by sector everything to this card, all 120 megabytes of it. As long as this drive holds up, you have to have a decently good hard drive. And by throwing them in the freezer, you can hear it. That clicking noise minus the fan. Uh-oh. Hit a bad sector there. It's got a bad sector it's hitting. But it'll keep dumping. There it goes. And it's block level. So even if it's bad, you're copying it. 
So you're going to have a bad image on your hard drive, you're going to have a bad image on your hard drive file, but you'll get your data off. Since I had such a hard time with this drive off camera, I didn't even film it, that's when I decided, hey, I'll, he asked me, hey, can you, uh, can you try and dump this? And I said, sure. Drive just spun down. Let's see where we're at. Drive heated up too much. So, put this card in my computer, hdimaged.hda. So I've got the cable plugged back in. I'm simply going to plug this in. And this will bring back native hard drive activity. We'll slide that in there. We'll put this card in here. And if this works, we should have his Amiga on the Zulu. Remember to turn your init switch off. Init off. Now we should be back to normal. Just termination is on. Hard drive has a check somewhere. Remember I told you, if it copies bad blocks, it's gonna copy bad blocks. We're gonna boot Workbench um, 3.0, and I'm gonna plug my keyboard in because I'm gonna need some utilities. Now I might have to run Amabec Tools, which I have on floppy disk, in my utilities disk here, of ancient times of hard drive repair. There's also, oops, why didn't it boot off the DF0? We'll double mouse button so I can boot off DF0. Boot options, DF0. This monitor is crystal clear, by the way. Dell U2410F. You know why it's not gonna work? Because I forgot to plug the power back in. If I cancel through these checksum errors, which is totally fine. 92 megs free, 23 megs in use. Show all files. Yeah, it's too far gone to... But there's the stuff, or some of it. There's the mount list, Amovac 2, tools. So it's got some problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to my hard drive, and I'm going to copy it back down to my workbench. My 32 gig card. It's only 128 megs. This will be HD2.HDA. My hard drive is booting. My lights did work at one time. Remember, it's still named D80. So there's the DH0. Mine's called System. So I'm going to call it DH3. I have to call it DH3 so I can check it. See how it's got check some errors? And a back tools. And analyze device. Yes. Let's let it just rip through it and revive the directory structure. And we'll see what's going on. It's only 120 megs. It shouldn't take that long. A lot of boo-boos on the drive because I had so many problems with the drive in the past. Now the drive's almost room temperature, so it's uh, probably going to make some noise again. I might have to image it two or three times to get a good image. DH3. Look what we got back. Got all the data, brother. It is missing like libraries and stuff like that. It didn't grab everything. Look, it didn't grab everything. See, all the tools were missing. There's no system. There is devs, DOS drivers. There's no storage. There's no S directory. So it didn't, it wasn't able to grab everything on that image. But it made an image so much so that we're going to turn it off and we're going to do the image again. So I have the card formatted. I'm going to plug this hard drive in now. I have a red to power. The dump is commencing. It is not hooked up to the computer. It's directly to the hard drive from the Zulu SCSI. Remember, it does crap out halfway. Sometimes you gotta do it a couple times. So how it kind of works is it reads the geometry of your machine, makes the hard drive file of size, and then does a block level copy. Directory structure, tables, parent key. This drive is effed. It's done out of love. Just for that, I ought to give you a set of elephant balls. I remember running this all night on like a 68,000 and let just like it would take all night. When when Amabac fixed the drive to make the checksums go away, it deleted half. Give me your word and then I'll change you back. We can remap the blocks. It'll ask us. I don't have it set to auto repair so it doesn't nuke anything. You don't have to commit any changes until it's done. 
So I just basically told Mr. Josh what I did. Now running the image back, fixing the drive, got the image, got the files, scanning them for viruses, copy it back to that little card. I'll send you a Google Drive link to the HDA file. I have not updated that damn drive, the light in a while for that. Okay, there's a problem with a file. You want truncate to fix the problem. Fix it. Truncated means deleted. But I got the whole hard drive copied to my file. He says, I'll owe you a meal at Shady Maple. You owe me nothing, sir. When you fire this up in Win UAE or wherever, just smile and that's payment enough for me. But it doesn't matter if the physical drive's blown up because we have a digital copy of it now. It is 10, 10 p.m. Assertion num00 and num num in file bitmat c at line 105. Continue. Fix. Lost my hard drive light again. Oh, there we go. It's a very fine line of bent, uh, bent metal. Okay, there are one or more bad blocks that can't be bad. You want to create file, a fake file to mark them as bad. Yes, please. Changes have been made. Update your bitmap. Yes, please. So it placed files, so I won't get those checksum errors. No viruses. Cool. With the hard drive out of the equation, and she got warm. We'll put my Zulu back in. Hard drive lights rolling. Copies it back to the file. I'll zip up the file or compress it with modern compression. Send Josh a link. I can mail his hard drive back, which is repaired. Hopefully it survives the return trip United States Postal Service. Now we shouldn't get any errors copying this back down to the hard drive file on the Zulu. Alright, so Mr. Josh has his file. I will get this drive packed up and shipped back. It should only take a day because we're real close in proximity. I could drive it to his house in two hours. So that's cool. So that is how you image a disc with a Zulu SCSI. I hope you found that informative. Sorry, I kind of blabbed on and we went over a bunch of scenarios due to the corruption of the drive. But the principle is the same. If you have a good working drive, you can get a great image of it. Sometimes you have to do it two, three, four, five times because it's just raw reading. And when it hits that bad file, it doesn't know what to do. And then it continues. And then I think from there, it craps out the drive. If there's a way where you can run Amabac quarter deck on your drive prior to imaging it to kind of make sure she's pretty much good to go. You're going to have better results. If you have a drive that's making noise, squeaking, leaking, whatever, you might not get everything, but you could get something. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.